Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up the integration and transfer of new contacts from Zoho Inventory to the Telegram Messenger. This is necessary in order to automatically transfer new contacts from Zoho Inventory to other systems. For example, in Telegram you will receive notifications for each new contact and never miss them. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, you need to select the Zoho Inventory Data Source System. Now you need to choose an action. In this case, I want to receive new contacts. At this point you need to connect your Zoho Inventory account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, we need to specify the login and password of the Zoho Inventory personal account. Next, you need to grant permission to Apex Drive to work with your Zoho Inventory account. When the connected login is displayed in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. No additional settings are provided for the Zoho Inventory system, so just click Continue. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click Continue. Now you see the data for one of your Zoho Inventory contacts, if everything suits you, click Continue. This completes the setup of the Zoho Inventory data source successfully. Now you need to go to the data destination settings. Choose Telegram system. Next, you need to select an action. Send message. At this stage, you need to connect your Telegram account to the Apex Drive system. In this window you can name the account or just click Save. Next, you need to find our Apex Drive bot and run it. Pay attention to the logo of the bot. Then you need to copy the connection string and send it as a message. After you have received a response about a successful connection, we return to the Apex Drive system and continue the configuration. When the connected account is displayed in the list, select it and click Continue. In the message field, you need to compose the text of the message that will be sent to Telegram with each new contact from Zoho Inventory. In this field you can use variables from Zoho Inventory. In order to add a variable to the field, click in it and select the variable from the drop-down list. To go to the next line use Enter. Note that you can use not only variables, but also write values manually. When all necessary variables are assigned, click Continue. At this point, you see an example of the data that will be sent to your Telegram for each new contact from Zoho Inventory. If something does not suit you, click Edit and you will go back one step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Telegram. After successful sending, go to Telegram and check the result. If everything suits you, return to the Apex Drive system and continue setting up. This completes the Telegram data reception setup successfully. 
Now you need to enable auto update and select the update interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.